Hey guys, I've had a few questions about the little boat that I fished out of, so I figured I'd take a minute to show you guys how I got it set up. So here it is guys, nothing special, just a little 1542 John boat, tiller handle, but it does everything I need to do. I've been saying for years I'm going to buy a bigger boat, but I've been fishing out of it for 12 years. I've had it on some pretty big water. Kentucky River, Cumberland River, Ohio River, most of the lakes around here. And it's got a little sketchy a few times on some of the bigger rivers and stuff, but like I always tell everybody, the worst thing that can happen is it'll sink. It does pretty good. You just got to use some common sense and stay out of the crazy stuff when the wind gets up. But I'll start at the front here. I just got a cheap light bar from Walmart. Just something to see logs running them down the river at night. One of the most important things you can have on any catfish boat, in my opinion, is a remote control trolling motor. Just so you can be anywhere in the boat and uh, control your trolling motor from anywhere in the boat. But it's a motor guide, XI3, 45 pound thrust. It pushes this boat about two and a half mile an hour. So it does pretty good. I think this is one of the cheapest remote control trolling motors I could find. I think they're around $500 online. Uh, just uh, There's the anchor I use up front. It's just an anchor that I made. I think it weighs around 12 pounds, but I've never had a problem with it. It always grabs when I need it to. Got a 100 foot anchor rope there. And got a little cheap bimini top. I think I only gave you like $75 for it, but it's been a lifesaver a few times in some pop-up storms and stuff when you can't get in in time. For such a small boat, it's got quite a bit of storage. Under each bench is storage. There's no live well or anything, but I'd rather have the storage, especially as much tackle and stuff as I take along with me catfishing. You can see I got tackle, planer boards, uh, sinkers there in the ammo box, a battery for a trolling motor, lights and stuff. I got a few of these uh, stand-up rod holders that I use for different things, net and stuff like that. More storage back here, just tools, battery, fire extinguisher, all the legal stuff you got to have, life jackets. I got a Driftmaster one on each side mounted on the gunnel. I think those are uh, 35 and five degrees. And then I got a rod rack that I made on the back with six monster rod holders on it. Uh, once I use the monster rod holder one time, that's pretty much all I buy from now on. I'd always use drift masters and uh, I won two of the monster rod holders at Steve Douglas's tournament last year during the door prizes and I just like how you can put the rod in three different ways. You can pretty much do everything with one rod holder so that makes them pretty handy and they're not more any more expensive than the Drift Masters or any of the other ones. Six gallon gas tank got a couple of drift socks that I use that helps quite a bit on both this size uh, I think that's a. I think I got a 24 and a 36. As long as you got quite a bit of current, that'll help a whole lot with the wind blowing the boat side to side. I added these float pods on. I usually have a lot more weight in it than the boat's rated for, so I added these and it made a huge difference. I'm glad I done it. If you got a small boat that sets real low in the water, uh, I'd highly recommend adding some pods to it if you can, because it brought it up probably four to six inches out of the water. That don't sound like much, but on a boat this side, that's quite a bit. I've got an 18 Mercury that it's, that's been on it since I've owned the boat for about 12 years. Never had a problem out of it. It's done great. It pushes the boat about 26 mile an hour with just one person in it. So that's, I think that's pretty good for an 18 horsepower. Got another dock cleat on the back just for the back anchor. Cast net. 
six gallon tank if I hadn't mentioned that already. There's a monster anchor that I use in the back. I won that also at the Captain Mad Jacks tournament last year. It does a good job. Recommend those. I've got a uh, Lowrance Hook 2 5 inch screen. Probably upgrade that pretty soon. When I bought it, I thought you could do a split screen on it, but in this model, you have to flip back and forth between the screens and that gets pretty aggravating. So here's a little bait tray that I made myself just out of a, I bought the biggest cutting board you could get from Walmart. I think it was like 15 bucks and I just cut two inch strips off three sides of it and then turned them up 90 degrees and ran a couple screws in them. But it works real good and like I said, I only got like 15 bucks in it. Now down here on the floor, this boat, it had carpet in it when I bought it. And of course, cutting bait, and handling fish and stuff, it gets pretty, pretty nasty. So I laid some rubber down in the floor. It's just something to, makes it a little easier to clean up after a long day fishing. I guess that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to get out and catch some big catfish, or I guess any fish for that matter, and you're not worried about what you look like doing it, get you a little boat like this, or if you already got one, set it up how you want it. Guys, if you got any questions, be sure to ask me in the comments. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up for me. And be sure to subscribe. Until the next one, guys, have a good one.